Grand rise and beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> amazing Scorpios, and welcome to your bonus reading, honey. We are officially in octabulous energy. So this is a, a, a wonderful, this is a fabulous time in October for Scorpios to get your shine on and your love on. So Scorpio, this bonus reading is for what you do not know and you do not see, all right? You oblivious to this mommy because your back is turned. Your back turned, Scorpio, okay? Your back is to this, but really it's this way, but this is how the cause is. Your back is to this. See, the moon is behind you. Some of you guys are nurturing yourself. In this time of you nurturing yourself, you may isolate yourself. This will be a good time if you are single, Scorpios, to make sure you are doing your inner work because you don't want to add blockages, forgive, release. Cut out things. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to check somebody. Sometimes you have to stand your ground because sometimes people will take advantage of this queen of cuss, but they don't know if this is a Scorpio, you better run. <laughs> really, that's anybody because <clears throat> I know cancers, when you mess with their babies or you, 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 you know, you, you touch home the cancers, you, you going to get another person. You be thinking cancers are soft and weak. No, you touch their babies or you touch something close to them, you're going to get another side of cancer. Now we know uh, Pisces, they're magical. They're the most magical ones because the Pisces, you deal with the high priestess, the magician, and the hangman. But you got the hangman and the high priestess. Look at all that. <clears throat> so with Scorpios, Scorpios are loving, but Scorpio, Scorpios now, I'm telling you, this is my experience, and, and this is why I know, especially if you hit that side with that finger out, you can get a very, very nasty, evil Scorpio. That's the one you don't want to pull out. If Scorpio gets to that point with you, it's no going back. So for some of you guys, you're going to have to see this to believe it because you, some of you guys have, <clears throat> you may be turning your back on past situations here, but what's going to happen is, is there's going to be a breakthrough or some type of communication when your back is to it and when you're no longer giving it your attention is when things are going to start happening. It's almost like when you turn your back on things and you move forward and you start catering to yourself, everything that was a problem behind you start fixing itself. Because as long as you're facing it and giving it your energy, it's alive. But when you pull your energy and pull it forward, it, it has no, nothing to keep it sustained. It's going to wither away and it's going to be no more. Then that's going to create new opportunities. It's going to create clarity. It's going to click. Uh, it's going to uh, do away with the blockages. And now there's going to be a clear, open communication. You're not going to be confused. You're going to start seeing things for what it really is. <clears throat> and in return, what you don't see is you got a person that's you got a soulmate coming in. But some of you guys, what you don't see is that. Something you've been struggling with, somebody may be about to win a big lump sum of money through court because of some type of <clears throat> lawsuit. <clears throat> you've been dealing with this for a very, very long time. Somebody could be uh, in, in, in confusion with family over an inheritance too. You're going to get it. You may have had to endure a lot for it, but you're going to gain victory. You're going to get exactly what is owed to you and and. It's like people can't stop it. They block it and they hinder it, but you can't stop it. You can't stop it. You can't. You may make it harder for somebody, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> whatever is for you, Scorpio, you're going to get it anyway. I see you overcoming obstacles here. See, when you when you focusing on yourself with that queen of cups and you turn your back to that, then your world start changing and you start getting things accomplished for yourself. Even new love partnerships here. So... <clears throat> I see that this is a time where you're getting a lot of attention. You got the limelight on you. You're rising above you. It's like we got that Scorpio that ain't playing no games. And we got the Scorpio that is finding themselves and finding their power, standing in their strength. You could be healing. But some of you guys, you may, uh, <clears throat> you may run into someone while you're out. It could be a new person of interest. So you got the queen of cups, the, uh, the, Moon, that's Pisces. So see, you see all those spiritual cards. You got the moon, you got the high priestess, you got the uh, hangman, you got the magician. So those are four cards that are dealing with the hidden things here. But you also have the ace of swords. You got the five of wands and the ten of wands in the reverse, right next to the ten of pentacles. So it's almost like your personal life is going to benefit from for for uh, is going to benefit from you turning your back on mess. 
because for some of y'all, y'all too good for that anyway with this Empress card. For some of y'all, y'all need to block off certain people and stand your ground. But remember, all of this is behind you. Some of y'all turning y'all back and y'all moving forward. Y'all don't know what's going on behind you. You don't know if somebody said, Scorpio, <laughs> wait, <laughs> please. You don't know because some of y'all ain't studying what's behind you, all right? <coughs> And then you have the lovers, the eight of wands, and the hermit in the reverse. Could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, could be a Pisces. And the only water you have here is, well, you do got the moon and the queen of cups, but you got the strong soulmate, physical, flirty energy. Somebody may start flirting with you online. And they may come in so, so, <laughs> so feisty that you, you block them. You could end up blocking someone here because they talking to they talking to you know what I'm saying. Some of y'all can't handle that. <clears throat> you gonna be like, ew. And then you gonna unblock them. You gonna unblock them. Like, well, what you say again? I, I didn't hear. It. <laughs> so what what's up with this five of ones? What does Scorpios not know or see with this five of ones in the reverse? Queen of Cups. See y'all not dealing with no mess. Somebody said that they don't want no. No, uh, no negative in they sedatives. No negative in Scorpio sedatives. I told you it was turning your back on that mess. See that a queen of cups? See? It also represents, little do you know, someone sees you as the one. There's no competition when it comes to you. And for some of you guys, you you refuse to entertain foolishness. They say a lady knows when to leave the building, okay? <clears throat> See? The devil. See there, see there, see there. So this is something you've already walked away from, but you walked away from and to the sun. Some of y'all may be walking away from a Leo or a Capricorn, and you're about to be the most happiest you have been in a very long time. Ten of Wands in the reverse. For some of you guys, your power lies within your actions and your hands. It's not the people that you're involved with. <clears throat> So why is the Ten of Wands in the reverse here for Scorpios? What does Scorpio not see? Somebody could have had a problem with your dad. They go the world, see completions, letting it go. Somebody needs to let it go. And there's the Eight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> so I feel like most of you guys are going to... You're, you're turning your back on mess and you're going to focus on your livelihood, your career, your money and all those things like that. And like I say, you got a lot of jealousy around you, too. And for some of y'all, it's somebody that you don't want no more. See, five of swords, four of cups and the five of ones. That is five of ones ago again. But look what y'all did to it, though. You were like, I don't want to deal with that. So like, I don't have to deal with it. This is what y'all have done. Y'all shut it down by leaving. A person can't make you, well, <clears throat> a person can't make you react, but then sometimes you you will. <laughs> sometimes you with the wrong toxic person, they're going to bring the worst out in you. And sometimes people don't understand when you try to talk sensibly to them, because sometimes people are animals in their mind. But somebody is angry at you that you moved on, Scorpios. They are, they have a problem with you. This is a lover here. Because some of y'all <clears throat> are enlightened. You, you've wakened up spiritually. After an ending, you're going through a transformation, Scorpio. But that's so you can get to the best part. You got the sun card here. You know, Scorpio, sometimes you keep on holding on to something. And this is not just Scorpio. It's people. You know how people hold on to something because they're hoping that something turn out or, <clears throat> or that, you know, they come back around and they do right by you and you find yourself being strung along to an unhealthy situation. But I feel like y'all got it now with this enlightenment here. So you're in a good place right now if you are doing your own inner work and you've turned your back to the mess <clears throat> because it's going to show a lot of growth in you. And see, when you know your worth and you loving yourself, it changes your situation here. So now you have the moon. <clears throat> what does Scorpio not see or know with the moon pertaining to love? And relationships. What is this moon energy uh, hiding from Scorpios? Because we're in this moon energy. Knight of Swords, somebody rushing in. 
the wheel of fortune, you may be out <clears throat> and you may run into someone. Why is this moon card here for Scorpios? What they don't see or know. The moon and the moon again. See, it's like your way is not blocked anymore. You're going to see things for what they really are instead of the illusions. Somebody could be having dreams about you too. And somebody feels like they need to rush in and get something off of their chest. <clears throat> I also don't get no speed and ticket out here because it's almost like craziness out here. You're going to get a lot of illusions, a lot of people in their feelings overreacting and you're going to deal with a lot of mental, mental illness. <coughs> so as you being the empress and you can be affected by all these crazy energy because you know the moon is going to bring out the beast thing. It's going to bring out that evil side. It's going to trigger some people, especially if they already got evil intentions and, you know, evil lifestyles in their life. See, this person has not ascended. They have not woken up yet. This could be somebody. But some of y'all is somebody here who is jealous of you. They don't want you to have it, Scorpios. That's what the moon is bringing out of them because you're too much. You loving. They can't break you. You're the empress. You turn your back on it. See, sometimes folks, sometimes you're dealing with toxic people and they want you to interact with their, their foolishness so that they can pull you down to their level. But I'm looking at a whole empress here, a very loving, nurturing empress. But once again, when you got that loving, nurturing side of Scorpio, you better stop because if you pull that other side out, you're going to think Scorpio is a whole demon because Scorpio can go there. There's somebody jealous of you. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody don't want to see you get it, but some of y'all gonna get it anyway. Ooh, Scorpio could be an old lover, could be old competitors, an old job. Why is the Hermit in the reverse for what Scorpio does not see? The Virgo energy. You got Libra. See, some of y'all may be leaving something else, but what some of y'all don't see, a person from your past is leaving a third party because they want to get back with you now that you done turned your back on them and you ain't in that race no more. You ain't feel like you ain't finna be in a competition for nobody because you know who you are. In fact, they're not the freaking catch you are. So what you don't see is that somebody's been doing a lot of soul searching. And because some of y'all got somebody blocked, it's affecting them. It triggers them. There go the nine of swords. Somebody feels like you're no longer waiting on them. Someone is feeling like they're no longer the prize. And for some of y'all, what you don't see is that this same person here did a lot of growing up. Because they want to come back with the six of cups. See? See, and this is a soulmate. Ooh. But I feel like y'all going to have options here. See? Because they in love. Now they in love with you. See? So what's happening is, is this moon energy, Scorpio, is pulling the depths up because, you know, they be trying to stay on the level on the surface level, but they, they can't see <clears throat> the thing about you, Scorpio, is that. You're so freaking deep, they're going to go deep and that's the only way they're going to be able to understand you. And if they walk away, it's because they can't handle it. But someone is well aware that in order to reach you, they're going to have to go deep. OK, because, you know, y'all, y'all deep. <laughs> That's why you got the king of cups here. See, they ready now with the emperor, the page of cups. Somebody's been doing a lot of growing, a lot of maturing. This could have been somebody here who needed to leave their healthy, ex the unhealthy, toxic external too. You could have just been dealing with somebody here who was cocky, uh, thought that they was God's gift to the world. Or once again, when you meet a relationship, I feel like, I feel like it's one of two things. Either it's because this relationship can actually be, quote unquote, the one, or there's still some vital lessons that you need to learn. And this relationship is going to bring it out of you, okay? That's usually what it's going to be. Either this is really your person, or this is a real strong lesson for you to learn because there's still room to grow. Obviously, there's always going to be for us all because that's what this life gives us. It offers us lesson after lesson after lesson. And we're supposed to take those lessons and apply them. Now look at them watching you. I told you they was watching you. Page of Swords and the King of Cups. They checking up on that Queen of Cups, god dang it. Because that Queen of Cups done walked away. They glowing. Look, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, look, see that scrub? Y'all didn't walk away with your head down low. I hope you didn't. But some of you guys, <clears throat> you walked away shining. <laughs> 
Y'all walked away shining, Scorpio. Y'all look. In, uh, in other words, the light left left the building. The essence, the nourishment, has officially left the building, and that's with Scorpio. Because when Scorpio don't even want to entertain you no more, it's a wrap. Now Scorpio gonna leave you with them demons. <laughs> Scorpio don't want to play with your devil. Scorpio trying to love you with the light, okay? So you were dealing with somebody who was in dark energy and you were bringing the light and they tried to manipulate it. It could be family, it could be friends, but either way it goes, Scorpios, everybody know that you're the blessed one. You're the one that all of the beautiful energy comes through because they're going to know it if you ain't around no more because they're not going to have that same love and nurturing energy around them, see? King of Cups, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, <clears throat> this is a soulmate. It's definitely a soulmate or a twin flame. Some of you guys, you got a soulmate and some of you guys, you got a twin flame, but you got the lovers here. So it could represent you're going to meet someone new because you done turned your back on the past and they just put something on your mind and you start feeling tingly and started feeling like, well, you know, at least we're having fun. And then here they come. <laughs> Patting you on the back. And you, you you really laughing with them and they, you don't hear me. You ain't like you don't hear me. You All the stuff we did together. <laughs> you with somebody new. <laughs> so let's see what this lovers, why for lovers. So what Scorpio don't see or know with the lovers? Could be a Leo, a Capricorn, a Gemini, a Aries, Pisces, see Aquarius that go to star. Now look, see Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, King of Swords, see? So we already know what time it was, a king of swords type of attitude with a queen of cups. Then we already know that it was like water and oil. It didn't mix, but it would have mixed if you add some more ingredients and you kept on beating it. You had, to, you had to nurture it. You had to knead that mixture in order for it to blend. <laughs> so if it didn't mix properly, they didn't blend it well, okay? <laughs> So maybe this person has been doing a lot of healing since you walked away from them. But somebody, they're inspired to work on themselves because they realize you got a freaking point. You're right. They are a mess. They've been a mess for a very long time. But for some of y'all, somebody resented you because you brought that to the service and they didn't want to deal with it. They was living in their ignorance peacefully until you done dropped in their life. But somebody's realizing that you came into their life to make a real good difference. So what's up with this lovers? What Scorpio don't see? You got a lover, soulmate here who has been healing. You are this person and you, you've inspired this person to heal. See, then I tell you that they go to teacher. See, so little do you know, Scorpio, you've been schooling them the whole time. Y'all been schooling your soulmate because you entered into this person's life because they needed that. But they also needed to trigger you, too, so that y'all can stand in your power, you know, because sometimes you let people downplay you. You know, you can be loving and nice, too, and still stand your ground. But it's like you're so giving and so gullible to, to, to you have to go there sometimes. And when you go there, then they don't want to play no more. <laughs> oh, somebody realized you done schooled them. Now they go to Ace of Swords. See, told you. Now they go, what's up with this Eight of Wands? What Scorpio don't see, it could be communication. It could be travel. It could be things picking up, somebody pick up communication. You can start having these conversations. See, I feel like this is what it is. You're going to start getting to know someone here, and it's going to be good. It's going to start off innocent, but it's going to be exciting. You know how I remember years and years and years ago, I remember I had one of those old, 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 old computers. They just look old, but still, I, have, I was barely able to put Wi-Fi on it. Okay, you got to start somewhere. And I was so happy because I had some 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 pen pals. They was from Africa. <laughs> and he was so sweet to me. And I looked forward to him calling me. And I was talking to him. He never asked me for no money because I didn't have no money. <laughs> but he was so sweet. And I actually liked him. Ain't that something? Somebody is curious about you, Scorpio. Somebody wants to know, do you still have the same feelings for them that you once did? They're not the same. You remember that song, I need tonight for old time's sake. It's been so long. Feels good. Tell me, have you been right? You know how I could. Now, I like the beginning. It's been 
so long since we had a night together. I have missed you. When I get through loving you, Scorpio's fire and desire. But the part I'm looking for is, now that I've got myself together and I know just what I want and right now, Scorpio, it's you. Somebody got their self together in other words, all right? I know I was all over the place. This this uh Freddie Jackson. In other words, this is two people here who, it, th there's no denying that there was an intense chemistry between the two of you. But when you met this person, they didn't have a life together. They, 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 they wanted you to think that they did because someone, maybe this was somebody here who couldn't appreciate what you had to offer. But like I say, people experiencing major realizations, major awakenings, wake up calls, epiphanies. It's like, it's like people, People from your past that they allow outside influences, all of those things are coming out the way because you're not giving it your energy no more. You remember it's behind you. Some of y'all ain't paying no attention. And see this person, somebody, somebody's going to surprise you. Could be a Scorpio coming into your life. Could be a Scorpio that you know, a Scorpio that you don't know. Could be online. See, to go the nine of cups. See, I feel like what you guys are going to do, you guys are going to be communicating with someone. You're going to start investing into a stimulating conversation. And that's going to grow to something else. For some of y'all, it could be someone from your past. You end up talking to this person and you start listening to them talking. You take your time and you go slow and then you get everything with this person here. See, there's a lot of fun. See, didn't I say you could have it. See, they go to three of cups. And they go to Ten of Pentacles, see? That's what you don't see, because remember, you got the Ten of Pentacles here. But some of you guys, you're over the past, but they're not over you. Don't come for me. Now, what's up with this Queen of Cups? What does Scorpios not see with this Queen of Cups? Because you done turned your back, honey. Y'all probably drinking a lot of water, see? Look at that. But see, for some of y'all, y'all got so much love to give, it, it's supposed to go with somebody else. Because you got the King of Cups down there. Like I say, this person, see, they came up again. See, oh my God. <laughs> see, <laughs> look, see, look how these cars coming. Out. Look, look at them watching you. See, they keeping tabs on you, boo. And see, they feeling, they feeling some type of way. See, they say you don't give them your attention at all. They say you ignoring them. They say you acting like you don't even know them. <laughs> This is how you affecting them when you turn your back on somebody because it looked like you had. Somebody say, we can't share thoughts no more. They like, look, then somebody say, you, now you know you got what I need because I got what you need, okay? They say, you know, they, somebody say, look here, you got what I need and I got what you want. They say they need you, see? They go to temperance. Some of y'all could be a Sagittarius. So that's a twin flame. Look at that. And they can't stop watching your old photographs or they're looking, they're going back down memory lane or someone's focus is totally reevaluating you. Someone is not, uh, someone is looking at you from a innocent, serious perspective here, Scorpios, and somebody wants to win you back because somebody does not like it when you don't show them that attention because you, you it, if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't be shit anyway, okay? <laughs> you the one lift them up now. Now, some of y'all, y'all going to be online dating and you're talking to other people and that can, either you're going to talk to this person from your past or some of you guys are just going to start having a very beautiful celebrated time. You got the ten, nine of cups, the ten of pentacles, three of cups, six of pentacles, eight of wands. I see a lot of celebration. I see a lot of communication, a lot of travel, a lot of get togethers. For some of you guys, you may be with extended family here. Somebody may be inviting you over to their house. Remember, this is the, 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 the times for parties and gatherings and out-of-towners and, you know, new fresh meat, God dang, you know, fresh people. So there's no need for you to be, see, whatever you've been waiting for, you got tired of waiting, you turned your back on, it's changing, right? Right, right when you don't care with this Ace of Swords, 
See, I told you, whatever you turn your back on, it's going to repair itself because you ain't feeding it. It's going to wither away. And then the reality of it is going to be left. And so you're going to be able to understand things. There, there are no more blockages here. See, six or so, but somebody don't want to leave you alone, though. Ooh. So it could be somebody finally waking up. See, they go to six of swords in the reverse and they go to five of cups again. See, somebody can't handle it. And they go death. Oof. Yeah, Scorpio. So like I said, when you pull your cup back and you turn your back, everybody behind you, they going through. <laughs> don't look back. You don't want to see it. It's not a good look. <laughs> You don't want to see that because all everybody behind you, they done fell apart. Don't look back now. So now you got the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for what Scorpio don't see and what Scorpio do not know? Because they ain't looking. The high priest is here. Secrets, hidden thoughts, hidden desires. Someone is holding something close to their chest. I feel like what it is is somebody sees you this way. And for somebody, somebody may be afraid that maybe you're going to get this without them because you're not going to wait. See? Look. Six of cups. There they go. This person coming back, Scorpio, somebody feels like y'all can conquer the world together, but it took you turning your back on it. For some of you guys, it, take, it takes you to stop because you know how you get. You just, you want, you so intense, God dang it. That's why I don't understand why anybody want to provoke a Scorpio stinger because Scorpios are loving. That's how they are by nature. If your stinger come out nine times out of 10, you were provoked. That's the only reason why I come out. Now, I understand some Scorpios need to do some shadow work and they need to heal. But by nature, they are loving and nurturing to a fault. So it's usually not no Scorpio that pushed you away. You did it and they got tired of it. And once they don't like you no more. See, justice is being restored. They go to Libra. But somebody got to build the courage to come back because somebody here is afraid. Could be a cancer for some of y'all. Look, they go to King of Pentacles. See, this is a boss. There's somebody here who got some money, okay? That's what this is. This is a wealthy person here who probably thought that you should chase them and exhort them and treat them like they God's gift to the world. And for some of y'all, Maybe they didn't want love. You know how some of these egotistical men got all the wealth and all of the good financial attributes of the world, but, but they're not happy. But some of y'all, you lifted this person up and they had all the fortune in the world, but they still weren't, they still wasn't ish. So somebody could have been hiding behind their success because they didn't want to deal with their real issue. Somebody here could have been a rotten person on the inside because of their upbringing, because of their situations, and they never heal from it. But this person finna offer you love now. I feel like this person feels like they are a, a, a big F up because they they, off, they 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 brought so much pain and unnecessary trauma and, and unnecessary crap in your life because they don't want to deal with their mess. But somebody is manning up. Someone is taking accountability of their life, Scorpio, because somebody has been doing a lot of soul searching, trying to figure out why are they the way that they are. But once again, you and this person is destined because you have something that they need. You, you've you always this person always needed something in you, but they was too, too arrogant and too narcissistical to humble themselves to receive it. But for little do you know, another opportunity is coming back around for somebody. All right. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading, honey. Please like, share, and subscribe.